everybody, Paul Lydell here, and I want to talk to you about right hand string bending. This is a fun technique, and uh, this is something that you can add to your solos to make them cooler. So here's uh, how we'll start. We're going to bend on the G string by putting the index finger on the 12th fret on the G string, and then we're going to pull up with the fingernails, the right hand, on the G string like this. So to get this started, I'm going to pull off the string with my ring finger of the left hand. And then pull the string up. Now, some things to remember are, regarding the right hand, this part of your thumb right here is going to be your gauge. And this is going to enable you to get your fingernails to the right string. A big part of this technique is to be able to get it from get from regular playing to right hand string bending quickly and in order to do that use the thumb as a gauge so that you can use your fingernails on the right strings. Get right there. Also the right hand thumb is going to go across the strings to keep them from making any extra noise. that. So let's start off by playing this lick. I'm going to pull off with the left hand ring finger to get the note started. Pull up with the right hand until the note goes up to the sound of the 14th fret, like this. Start off by bending very slowly right to that pitch. As you get more used to this, you can start to do things like add vibrato to the note. And that's using this motion with your fingers. And we can also uh, do big bends like like that. So let's play this lick. One bend, two bends, and then vibrato. One, two, vibrato. One, two. And the vibrato. Now you can make the vibrato sound like a regular vibrato, or you can make it wild. Like. Let's bend to other notes on the same string. So let's play uh, notes from the pentatonic scale in this key of E, and let's play these notes. So I'm going to start on 12, then go to G16, and from there bend up to that D on the G string. A little vibrato. Let's go a little farther and play that entire E minor triad like this. So we'll play. And once again, we can add a bend at the top. Or a vibrato. In addition to using this technique on just one string, we can go from string to string if we use hammer-ons, like this.
Here I'm hammering to the D string, 14th fret, pull off, then right hand bend the 12th fret of the D string until it sounds like the 14th fret. Then hammer on to the G string, 14th fret, and do the same thing. So those are some licks that you can use using right hand string bending. I'm Paul Lydell and I'll see you next time.